Despite almost a year of cruising being shut down, last week Viking Cruises made headlines when it ordered a brand new ship. And Viking is not the only cruise line that is ordering, building or accepting new ships. So this week I thought we'd take a look at why cruise lines are still building new ships even during the cruising shutdown. In March last year, the cruise lines entered into a voluntary cruise pause in response to COVID. Originally, the cruise pause was only expected to last about a month or so, but it's now going to be well and truly over a year with the cruise lines being shut down. The majority of cruise ships are still laid up waiting to resume passenger services. Yet despite this, ships are still being built, and in the case of Viking at least, new ships are being ordered. So why is this? The very first thing to note is that cruise ships are ordered years in advance of their delivery. So the cruise ships that are being completed during the cruising shutdown were ordered years ago. A good example is P&O's newest ship, Iona, which was recently handed over to P&O Cruises, but due to the cruising shutdown is yet to enter service. At a cost of over 900 million US dollars, building a ship like Iona isn't something that P&O does on a whim, but Iona forms a vital part of P&O's long-term fleet renewal program. The ship was ordered in September of 2016. While the ship is an excellence class cruise ship, many of which have been ordered for the various Carnival Corporation brands, the interior is unique to Iona. As such, time is spent completing the interior design and other design work even after the ship is ordered. For a ship which is first in class or a one-off design such as the Queen Mary 2, this process can take a bit longer as they work to perfect the dimensions, stability and performance of the ship. This means that using the same design for multiple ships is faster and more cost effective over time. Back to Iona. The keel was laid down in May of 2019 at the Meerwerf shipyard in Papenburg, Germany, and this is when construction commenced on the building of the ship. By February of 2020, Iona was ready to be floated out, which is a pretty quick timeline when you think about it. This is made possible due to the large amount of prefabrication that's used in constructing cruise ships these days. So while the keel was laid in May of 2019, a lot of work had already been done creating prefabricated blocks that made up the construction of the ship. Heavy engineering items, for example, can have long lead times. So things like engines, stabilizers, thrusters, generators, and air conditioning units need to be ordered, built, and delivered quite often before the shipyard can start putting the ship together. By the time a cruise ship is floated out, it is relatively complete, but there's still a lot of work to be done on the interior design of the ship. This means completing all the interior decor and completion on work connecting plumbing, electrics and air conditioning. Shipyards have perfected this process and it is done fairly quickly, especially when you compare it to ships of old. I'll use two of my favourite ships as an example. The QE2's keel was laid down in July of 1965 and the ship was complete and handed over to Cunard in April of 1969. Her successor, Queen Mary II, had her keel laid down in July of 2002 and the ship was handed over to Cunard in December of 2003. Now, QE2 did have some prefabrication used in its construction, but by the time Queen Mary II was built, it was mostly prefabricated blocks that were put together to create the ship, which greatly increased the speed in which the ship could be built. So again, back to Iona. She was planned to be delivered to P&O in 2020, but due to the pandemic, this hasn't happened yet. But this does give you a pretty good idea as to the timeframes needed between ordering and accepting a new cruise ship. Now, of course, Iona is not the only ship to be completed during COVID times. And this is a similar situation that's being experienced with new cruise ships such as Mardi Gras, Celebrity Apex, and Enchanted Princess. Actually, I made a video about the ships that were due out in 2020 and 2021, which you can check out in the info card or the description below. And this brings me to my second point, COVID. COVID has impacted more than just the cruise lines, with major disruptions being felt across multiple industries. This includes the shipyards as well as manufacturers of various components required to build a ship. With many of the major shipyards in Europe, there have been numerous delays with the construction of cruise ships. Normally, this would be bad for cruise lines, but given the cruising shutdown, it's actually, in a strange way, worked out for them because there's absolutely no rush to accept and finish paying for new cruise ships whilst the industry is in shutdown. Additionally, COVID has led to some cruise lines delaying their new builds or tweaking the delivery timeframes. This is not the same as cancelling a build. And in fact, given the significant problems caused by COVID, it's reassuring to see that there aren't mass cancellation of new build cruise ships, largely because of those long lead times on building a new cruise ship that I mentioned before, coupled with the cruise line's general sense that things will rebound once vaccines are widely accessible. So now we know how long it takes to build a cruise ship, and what kind of impact COVID is having on those timeframes. But you may have noticed that at the same time that cruise lines are accepting and building new ships, 
They're also retiring and scrapping old ones. This is certainly something that I've seen mentioned in the comments on my various videos about ships being scrapped. Firstly, all the new build cruise ships, either ready for service or expected in the coming years, have long been part of the plan. Cruise lines were planning for these ships well before COVID interrupted the cruise industry. At the same time, many of the older ships that we've seen scrapped in 2020 and 2021 were already flagged to be withdrawn or redeployed over the coming years. It is true that cruise lines were keeping older cruise ships in service for longer and longer due to the cruise boom that we experienced prior to COVID. But even before COVID, cruise lines were retiring older cruise ships. If we look at P&O again, they sold their much-loved Oriana after nearly 25 years of service in 2019 in anticipation for Iona joining the fleet in 2020. That being said, there is no denying that the COVID shutdown has brought forward the retirement of many of these older cruise ships. Many of these ships have ended up being scrapped as there are not enough buyers for second-hand cruise ships during this crisis. So to answer the original question, cruise ships are still being built because they were ordered and construction commenced well before COVID became a problem. They're still being built even while older ships are being scrapped because cruise lines need new ships for their long-term future and they're not being cancelled because there is a strong confidence in the industry rebounding once the pandemic is brought under control. And just to finish off, and in relation to Viking's brand new order, well, this is an interesting line because Viking operates both ocean cruising and river cruising. Their newest order for an Egyptian-based river cruise ship reflects the fact that river cruising is already having an easier time than ocean cruising, thanks largely to the smaller ships, fewer passengers, and limited itineraries that don't, in many cases, need to cross international borders. This is all working together to make river cruising seem even more likely to rebound strongly in a post-pandemic world. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you found the video interesting. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. I'd like to take a moment to thank Stephen Payne, the designer of Queen Mary 2, for helping me with this video. I'd also like to thank Andrew Sassoli Walker, a Southampton-based photographer, for his support in the images used in this video. And I've linked to their websites and social media in the description below. Of all the cruise ships that were due to come out in 2020 or are expected in 2021 or 2022, which one are you most excited to travel on? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks once again for watching, and when it is safe for us to set sail again, I hope to see you on board.